What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So for those of you who are unaware, LR Broly's featured banner drops tonight at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time on Global. Now for those of you who are on the fence about whether or not you should summon on it, I would suggest that you keep watching and I'll try my best to help you out. The first thing you need to know about LR Broly is that he is the undisputed king of World Tournament, and it's not even close. Sure, there are some decent substitutes like LR Maja Vegeta or EZA STR Broly, but no one can annihilate the competition quite like LR Broly. Another thing you need to know is that he hits extremely hard. In fact, under an Angel Golden Frieza lead, he is currently the second hardest hitting non doku Fest LR behind LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. With that out of the way, let's do our usual thing and go over 1. the card itself, 2. what the banner will look like, and 3 what teams you can run him on. So LR Broly is the OG STR LR lead. He gives all STR units key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. His 12 key super is an AOE attack that deals colossal damage to all enemies and his 18 key super is a single target attack that deals mega colossal damage to one enemy. His passive goes like this. Upon super attacking, Broly gains 80,000 attack, loses 20,000 defense, and launches an additional super attack. So this is the reason LR Broly hits so damn hard. 80,000 attack is the highest flat boost in the game. Combine that with a guaranteed second super and he'll be putting out some ridiculous numbers for you. The defense debuff does make him a bit of a glass cannon and you'll never really want to be tanking with him. Nonetheless, his insane damage output more than makes up for it. He has a great link set with Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. He also happens to fit on four different category teams, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Movie Bosses, and Full Power. Now let's move on to the banner itself. As always, I'm using the JP banner as reference, but the global banner will be extremely similar if not identical. Broly's banner featured LR Broly, Tech Kid Trunks, Int Kid Goten, AGL Kid Goten, Physical Kid Trunks, STR Future Trunks, STR 18, AGL Super Vegeta, all three Family Kamehameha units, uh, AGL Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and five Goten and Trunks SRs. So overall, it's still not an amazing banner, but as far as these legendary summons banners go, it's actually not too bad. The Tech Kid Trunks and Int Kid Goten are both very solid tanks on Super Battle Road. The AGL Kid Goten and Physical Kid Trunks become solid damage dealers once you awaken them. The STR Future Trunks and AGL Super Vegeta are both great support units. There's also the Family Kamehameha Goku, Gohan, and Goten that become amazing after they get their easy A's. And lastly, the Android 18 is also a very solid unit. Overall, this is probably one of the best featured LR banners we've ever seen, not including, of course, LR Gogeta and LR Vegito. Lastly, we'll quickly cover the teams that LR Broly thrives on. The only category team that's currently on Global right now is Resurrected Warriors, which he's fantastic on. He's also amazing on Extreme SDR and Villains as well. While the other three categories aren't available yet, keep in mind that AGL Turles should be the next Dokken Fest on Global, and he's the leader of the Movie Bosses category, and also SSBE Vegeta, who's the leader of the Pure Saiyans category, should most likely be right after him. Now that we've covered the unit, the banner, and the teams, it's time for my recommendation. Now I've actually given this quite a bit of thought, and here's my honest opinion. If you don't have LR Broly, and you can make a decent team for him, then just go for it. He's such a fantastic unit, and he will make your life 1 million times easier on future world tournaments. The one caveat with this recommendation is that I wouldn't go too hard. These banners aren't worth wheeling out on. I think 3-4 to four multis would be a good number. At the end of the day, this is just my personal opinion. The final decision is still up to you. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Best of luck to everyone who's summoning. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see and you wanna see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.